Hey YouTube family, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to our daily hacking news series. You can hit the like button. Uh, it will work as a sort out for, for our team. Now let's get right into the video. So first news is basically coming from New York. So basically a 37 year old man from New York has been sentenced for the four years in prison for buying stolen credit card information and working in cahoots with a cyber crime cartel known as the in fraud organization. So John Telsma, who went uh, by the alias Peter Elliot, pleads guilty to one count of Adaptarian Conspiracy on October 30, 2021. He joined the gang in August 20, uh, 2011 and remained a member for five and a half years. So if someone would like to be a carder and willing to purchase a stolen credit card, then be secure. India government is now also working very proactively. Now next news is related to a malware. So a malware malwareizing threat is witnessing a new surge in activity since they emerged earlier this year. So Eden Russell, a red canary, said in a report that Chrome Loader, the malware, is a prescribed and presented browser hijacking that modifies its victim browser setting and redirects user traffic to advertisement website. So Chrome Loader is a rogue Chrome browser extension and is typically distributed in the form of ISO files by a paper install sites and baited social media posts that advertise QR code to crack video games and pirated movies. So don't ever use this kind of services. Now next news related to Pawn to One event. So after the first and second day, on third day, three more zero day exploits were successfully used by the security researchers to hack the Windows 11 OS of Microsoft on the third and last day of 2022 Pawn to One Vancure Hacking Contest. So Team Double Dragons first attempt of the day to exploit Microsoft Teams failed because they were unable to demonstrate the exploit within the time allowed by the Microsoft. And uh, these are the basic update about it. And uh, no, it was not all in the lost because ZDI was able to incorporate Team Double Dragon research into the standardized process. So this is about uh, this specific update. And the other consistent, uh, the contestant in this event has also successfully taken down Windows 11 for three times and one to desktop for one time as well and earned approx. 160,000 US dollar. So this is huge. So if you are a hacker, just do the things for the good faith and you will learn earn a lot of money from there. Now last news related to a app for the people those who are staying in the hotel. So a group of academic had devised a system that can be used on a phone or a laptop to identify and locate Wi-Fi connected hidden IoT devices in familiar physical spaces. So with, with hidden camera being increasingly used to snoop on individuals in hotel rooms and Airbnb, the goal is to able to pinpoint such rogue devices without much of a hassle. So you can use this application. This will just make sure that you will stay without a camera into a hotel. So that's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, comment on your feedback. You may subscribe this YouTube channel because we are bringing hacking news on daily basis. So at last, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. Jai Hind.